Hey everyone, welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how to configure WPA3 on a Cisco wireless LAN controller. So why don't we dive into it? Here on my screen, I have this 3504 wireless LAN controller. I'm running 8.10.121. Now if you're trying to configure WPA3, you have to be aware of what version it is supported on the controller. So you can see here support for WPA3 was out of release 8.10.105 at the minimum. And so that's at least a version of code you want to be running on your wireless LAN controller. And so in this controller, we're going to configure WPA3 on a specific SSID called SecureMe. And so I'm using an application called Wi-Fi Explorer to verify that this configuration has been done. This SSID is configured on my WLAN controller. This is the access point. And you can tell it's sitting right next to me because the signal strength is so strong. But more importantly, under security, you can see that it is a WPA2 pre-shared key uh, configuration for security. So if we head back over to the controller and head over to WLANs, you can see I have one called SecureMe right here. If we click on that SSID and head over to the security tab, we can change the layer two security. Here it's already selected for WPA2 and WPA3. We just have to go down below here and enable WPA3. Now the thing with WPA3 is it's not entirely supported by every single device out there just yet. You have to check your device capabilities and what version you have to be on in order to support WPA3. So in your case, if you've got a mix of devices that both so support WPA2 and some that also support WPA3, you're gonna have to configure your SSID to be in a mixed mode environment where it's allowing both WPA2 and WPA3. So in this scenario, we're just gonna configure straight up WPA3 uh, just to show you what that looks like. So if you're going to dedicate an SSID just to WPA3, you would actually uncheck WPA2 and only have WPA3 enabled. Now I'm using up here personal as the security type. That just means I'm going to be using a pre-shared key. If you're going to be using 802.1x, you click on this drop down and select enterprise. And from here you can see that .1x is selected. Now you do have to have your radius servers configured on your controller in order for this to work. But we'll do something simple and select personal. You can see here the encryption cipher that I'm using and uh, that protected management frames is gonna be required. That's part of the specification for WPA3 in order for it to work. So then here you type in your password that you want it to be. Make sure it's a secure password and then we'll hit apply. But before that, I do want to show you that again, uh, SecureMe is a WPA2 pre-shared key SSID because we haven't saved it yet. So I'm gonna go back here and I'm actually gonna hit apply on this configuration. Now, when you hit apply, it's gonna tell you that uh, a mesh is gonna pop up and say, hey, you're gonna disconnect some clients that are currently connected if you do this. I don't have anything connected, so I'm just gonna hit okay. There we go, it should be configured. If we go back, you can see under the security policies of the list of SSIDs that WPA3 is configured and it says auth SAE. SAE is, uh, if I can remember this, simultaneous authentication of equals. That's what is the uh, behind the scenes of WPA3, the technology of, of that security that's being used. So then now if we go back to Wi-Fi Explorer and verify, you can see now that WPA3 is indicated here in the security column. And what's cool is if you wanna dive into these details, you select that SSID, click on advanced details, and down here under the RSN information element, we're actually looking at this beacon frame. You can see that the where is it? RSN capabilities or auth key. There it is. The auth key management suite is SAE. That is your WPA3. 
So there you have it. That's configuring WPA3 on a Cisco WLAN controller. It's a pretty simple thing to do, but just remember if you've got devices that do not support WPA3, you either have to create a new SSID that is a WPA3 only SSID or configure it to be both WPA2 and WPA3, which is a mixed mode transition mode for WPA3 to allow all devices to connect. If you have any questions, let me know down below in the comments. Thank you guys.